So I just put out a video on how much I like this Rise Coffee after using it for three months, but I wanted to show you all exactly how I have been making my Rise Coffee because I make it hot, I also make it cold, but both methods use the same ingredients. So I just wanna show how I make my Rise Coffee that I look forward to every morning and every afternoon. All right, for both of these coffees, I start out with about eight to 10 ounces of water. Again, eight to 10 ounces of water, roughly. For the hot, I'll put this eight to 10 ounces into the microwave. I do a minute, five seconds. It's what we did our son's bottles for, so I just went with it and it's pretty perfect for me every time. Not the perfect temperature, perfectly warm, but not overly hot. And I can drink it without letting it cool down for a crazy amount of time. So on a typical day, I drink two cups of coffee. I'll have one first thing in the morning when I wake up, then I'll have a second one in the afternoon. It's kind of like a pick me up around like 1.15 or so at work. If I work out in the morning though, I will take pre-workout and so I won't have coffee in the morning. I'll work out, that pre-workout will get me through to the afternoon and that's when I have my first cup of coffee. But on a non-workout day, or if it's like a not as intense workout day, I will just go with the two cups of coffee. Plenty of energy all day long. All right. Got our hot, we got our cold, and we got the three ingredients that I utilize the most. Obviously, we're gonna start with a tablespoon of rice in each one of these cups. So what I was doing in the beginning was a whole scoop of this in one cup. However, if I'm having two scoops, I don't wanna to have too much Bulletproof Creamer. The reason I like the Bulletproof Creamer is that it is a healthier version of creamer. It's basically just grass-fed butter and MCT oil, which is coconut oil, so it doesn't have all the artificial sweeteners and things like that in it. And it gives me just enough sweetness, and it also makes it like a Bulletproof style coffee, which I'm a huge fan of, especially in the morning. It does give me a whole lot more energy, and it keeps me kind of in a fasted state for a little while till I have my protein shake or whatever I have for breakfast. So, Knowing I'm going to have two cups of coffee, I'll take that one scoop and I'll split it up. I'll do half in the hot, half in the cold. And I'm not super precise with it. I pretty much eyeball it, so we'll put half scoop in here. Same thing in here. Another half scoop. Go into the cold. Quickly what I'll do is I'll add in my collagen, and this is a chocolate flavor. I'll add this into the one I drink first thing in the morning. So first thing in the morning, it'll be coffee, half scoop of creamer, and the collagen. This collagen, it's gonna give me 10 grams of protein, and it's all the collagen protein, and it's just gonna keep me full a little bit longer, as well as give me some protein first thing in the morning in my Bulletproof coffee, which still gonna keep me pretty fasted and helps to keep me lean. You don't have to use collagen protein, or you don't have to use the I like the Transparent Labs grass-fed collagen because it is really, really clean, but you can use any brand. I've used the Vital Proteins, and I've thrown that in there before also. You don't have to add this in. If I was just my main ingredient is the creamer, but I do like putting the collagen in my first drink of the day. I've also put this one in where it is a chocolate flavor. I have put this in by itself many times, and it's actually still really good that way too. So with, let me just go and get this over with. So with the one that's cold, it is on ice. A lot of times I'll go on and drink it like this. However, if I'm making it to take with me to work, I'll make it like this. It's got ice in there. I get it to work. I'll put it in the fridge and I'll just let it sit in there and chill till I'm ready to drink it. So I've already had my coffee today. I'm gonna put this one in the fridge. I'll have it tomorrow morning. Now with the one that is hot, if I'm feeling lazy, I'll mix it with a spoon. But if I want to get it really good and blend it up, I'll get out a coffee frother, stir this bad boy up. Now, ready to drink. So there you have it. I keep it very clean, very simple. This is how I make my Rise Mushroom Coffee every single day. Whether it's hot, whether it's cold, that half scoop of Bulletproof Creamer into both, the optional collagen protein, if you do wanna add a little bit more protein and some collagen in to help out your hair, skin, nails, joints, all that good stuff. I like putting that in there. And then like I said, I just prefer the Bulletproof style coffee. There's numerous health benefits to having that Bulletproof coffee. Plus, I don't like I said, I just don't like to use sugars, artificial sweeteners, all that stuff. So this helps keep it very clean, gives me tons of energy, and I feel great each and every day. If you have any questions about how I make my coffee or anything related to the Rise Coffee, definitely hit me down in the comments below. And if you didn't already, check out my full three-month review of me using the Rise Coffee. Or if you're looking to pick up Rise, I do have it linked down in the description below with an affiliate link. I'll also link my collagen protein and the Bulletproof Creamer down there as well if you wanna pick it up. These are affiliate links. They aren't sponsored, they aren't paid, but they do help support the channel. And I do have a promo code to go with that Rise Coffee if you are interested. BBH15 is gonna take 15% off your order. 
of Rise Coffee. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you got some value. If you have any questions, leave them down below and see you in the next one soon.